this video, we're talking about multiplication of sign numbers. And when we say sign numbers, we're just talking about numbers with either a positive sign or a negative sign attached. For example, in this expression we have here, two is a positive number and three is a negative number with the negative sign in front here. So when we wanna multiply either two positive numbers together, two negative numbers together, or a mix of positive and negative numbers, what will be the sign of the result? Well, we have this chart here to help us remember what the sign of the result will be. What we're saying with this chart is that if we multiply together a positive number and a positive number, we find the intersection of these two, we're gonna get a positive number. Or if we multiply together a negative number and a negative number, we're gonna get a positive number. If on the other hand, we multiply a negative number by a positive number, we get a negative number. And if we multiply a positive number by a negative number, we get a negative number. Another way to remember this is that if we're multiplying two numbers together and they have the same sign, if the sign is the same, then the result will be positive. If we're multiplying two numbers together and their signs are different, the result will always be negative. So two different signs, the result will always be negative. Two of the same signs, the result will always be positive. And it doesn't matter if we have two positive numbers that are being multiplied together or two negative numbers that are being multiplied together, they have the same sign, so the result will be positive. So if we apply this logic to these expressions we've been given here to find the result, what do we get? Well, we have two times three. Those are both positive numbers. We have positive two times positive three. The signs are the same, they're both positive. So our result is going to be positive. Our result will be six. Here we have positive two times a negative three. We have a positive and a negative, their signs are different. We know that if we have different signs, the result will be negative. So we get negative six. Here we switch the order, we have negative two and a positive three, but the point is we have a negative number and a positive number, different signs, so the result is negative, and we get negative six. And here we have two negative numbers, negative two and negative three. The signs are the same, they're both negative, so our result is positive. Now keep in mind that this logic only applies when you're multiplying together just two signed numbers. If you're multiplying together more than two numbers, so you have three numbers that you're multiplying together or four numbers that you're multiplying together, this logic doesn't necessarily hold. So for example, if I wanna multiply together negative two times negative three times negative four, or if I wanna multiply together negative two times negative three times negative four times negative five, my results are gonna be different. So here I have negative two, negative three, negative four. You might say, well, the signs are all the same. They're all negative. So my result is going to be positive because my signs are the same, but that's not true. The reason that this logic works when we have two numbers is because for every two negative signs you have, they're gonna cancel each other out and become a positive. So here I have negative two times negative three. I have two negative signs. So I can cancel out my two negative signs and I can turn them into positive signs. And now I have positive two times positive positive three, which of course we know is a positive six. The reason the result of these two examples was a negative six is because I had only one negative sign. In other words, I had an odd number of negative signs, and so my result was negative. So really our conclusion needs to be, if you have an even number of negative signs, then the result is going to be positive. If you have an odd number of negative signs, then the result is going to be negative. So here we can see why that works. We have a negative two and a negative three. We know that we can cancel out every two negative signs. So we can turn both of these into positives. This negative sign doesn't have another one that we can cancel it with, so it's just gonna stay there. We know two times three is six, so we get six times a negative four, and we know that that's going to be negative 24. So you can see that the result was negative because we had an odd number of negative signs. We had one, two, three negative signs, an odd number. Because we had an odd number of negative signs, the result was negative. In this case, negative two times negative three times negative four times negative five, we have an even number of negative signs, right? One, two, three, four negative signs. So we expect our result to be positive. And in fact, that's true because we can cancel every two negative signs. So one, two negative signs become a positive. One, two negative signs become a positive. And now we have all positive numbers. So two times three is six. Four times five is 20. Six times 20 is 120. And that's positive 120. So our result is positive because we had an even number of negative signs. And that's how you deal with multiplication of signed numbers.